Hey, what's up DJs? So today I want to talk about a cool way that I figured out how to integrate the gig logs that I post onto YouTube and my website together that just based on the time that I've been doing it already, it's a little bit of an experiment, uh, but it seems like it's been helping me out with SEO and I know that it is helping me out build trust with couples. Let's talk about it. So I wanted to do this video because I know that there are a lot of DJs that post gig logs onto YouTube, a lot of DJs that have websites, but oftentimes other than just having a YouTube link that the end user can click on to go to YouTube, that's about as far as it actually goes. Uh, they don't typically show the gig logs. And when I began doing gig logs, the audience was never intended to be couples. It was intended to be other DJs. However, after posting them for some time, I've had a number of couples who booked with me and said, we watched your gig logs and we want you, right? We found you because of YouTube or whatever it might be. So because of that, I thought that it would be a helpful resource to actually dedicate at least a part of my website. So that way, if couples were to land on my website, they can very easily find the specific gig logs that are maybe showcasing venues that I go to regularly. I kind of began doing that and it's been up for a while now. I've, I've been kind of tweaking it here and there. And one thing I have noticed is that uh, based on my Google Analytics, it has been getting quite a bit of traffic from uh, the standard page. I'm not going to do an in-depth tutorial on how I did it or anything like that. I just really want to show you the functionality of what is possible, uh, especially using WordPress, Elementor. I know a lot of DJs that use Elementor that use WordPress. So before we get into it, I want to quickly talk about the uh, couple stipulations that I had when I was doing this. One, it had to be easy for me to add it to my website. I did not want to have to create an entire new page every single time I published a gig log and make it look like the rest of my website. Two, it needed to look like the rest of my website. It needed to look like it belonged there. It needed to match the branding. It needed to look clean. And three, it needed to also be included in the conversion path itself. Somewhere between a couple thinking about they need to hire a DJ, to them looking online for a DJ, to them finding me, to them booking me. There had to be somewhere where they could easily go to it uh, to either A, find out if I am a viable option for them b find out if they can trust me or maybe even c find out if i'm a dj at that venue this is my website and i'm just going to show you my website briefly just so that way you can kind of see the way that the website is designed the way that it is laid out and things like that now if we go over to our vlogs this is the page that is kind of dedicated to the gig logs so these cards right here are automatically going to populate based off of the gig logs that I have uploaded. Uh, so really quickly, if I just click on this watch video log, it is going to load this page and it's gonna have the gig log embedded in it. We are heading out to Aurora Cellars today for another gig log. So the gig logs are here on the website, right? They can very easily watch them. And mind you, these are intended for DJs right? But I wanted them to at least be there in case a couple wanted to see it. Um, especially when we are talking about the specific venues, maybe some of the things that we do differently in order to make sure that we are able to deliver the level of quality that we want to deliver. This is kind of that page. So I have a blurb here and then I have a call to action that says, hey, are you planning a wedding? Because especially by including the venue, including the term wedding, these gig logs do have an opportunity to generate some kind of cookie points with Google or SEO. If I go to the back end of my WordPress website, kind of demonstrate to you how I do it. So between using Elementor's theme builder and creating a custom template for the gig logs, by using a tool called Jet Engine, which allows me to create custom post types and custom meta fields, I created this custom post type called gig logs. So I'll click on gig logs and you'll see that these are all of the gig logs that I have on the website so far. Amazing wedding at Aurora Cellars, DJing a wedding in Pennsylvania, 
incredible wedding at Crystal Mountain. So you can kind of see the ones that I have. Now, when I publish a new gig log, what I can do is just click add new gig log. And if any of you are used to creating a post in WordPress, you'll, you'll know exactly what this is. This is kind of the default WordPress blog editor, but you'll see down here, video title, video URL. So these are the custom data fields that I created using Jet Engine and using the custom post type that I created for GigLog specifically. So I'm going to go to my YouTube channel and I'm going to find a GigLog that I want to put on here. So we'll just put this one on here really quickly. And what's nice about this is because I post a lot of other content onto my YouTube channel that aren't gig logs, right? I post uh, certain tips for DJs. I post interviews for the DJ marketing school. Couples are not interested in that. And yeah, I could create a playlist on my YouTube that has my gig logs, but that's a lot of steps for a couple to go through. Now, Using this method, what I can do is I can pick the gig logs that I want to be published on my website. And by using the custom post type, the custom meta fields, it is literally as easy as this because this is a wedding at Aurora Sellers. I will say celebrating at Aurora Sellers. This one's actually probably gonna come off after I do this. And then here I will just quickly write a body. So in this video, normally I would make the body a little bit longer uh, maybe try to include a little bit more keywords, so on and so forth, right? And then now here, this is what I am going to do. I'm gonna copy the URL from YouTube. I'm gonna paste it right there. And then I am going to copy the title. And I'm gonna paste it right there. And then I'm gonna add a featured image. So I've already got the thumbnail that I used in the video. And the featured image could be anything from a picture of the venue to you at the venue. I'm just doing the thumbnails right now just so that way it's a little bit more cohesive with my YouTube channel. And then I'm going to click publish. Now, if I go back to our vlogs page, you'll see now instead of having five gig logs uploaded on this page, we have six. And if I click on this video, this is the one I just uploaded. We are getting ready for gig you can see that it is now embedded and it looks exactly the same just like all the other ones do it matches the website and it gives them some sense of content that they can watch right uh so they even if they just kind of click through and skim it and try to find the spots of people dancing or whatever you know it's at least there and they are getting the look behind the scenes some couples might not care those couples aren't going to watch it some couples will care some couples will appreciate it because one thing i've noticed so far is especially with the gig logs they were not intended for couples but couples are enjoying them when they find them this just makes it a little easier for them to find and again i don't have to create the entire page around it using Elementor's theme builder, custom post types, custom meta fields, and dynamic data. And what I mean by that is, so this is a theme that I created for that custom post type gig log. So this is the video widget, right? Other page builders call them elements. Elementor calls them widgets. So this is usually where you would just paste the URL. So you would copy the URL from YouTube, paste it in right there, and then that would kind of show up on the page. However, using dynamic tags and those custom meta fields that I was telling you about, I can come over here and select custom field and I can tell it where to pull that URL from, which is going to be video URL from the custom post type gig logs. And that's it. This is the body content or the post content, if you will. This is the post title. And then this is just kind of a next button. And then there's also a uh, custom field for the video title right underneath the video. So you may have seen that if we actually go back to the vlogs page, you'll see underneath the vlogs, there is a title that the way that it actually shows up in YouTube. Now, is this going to be crazy helpful? I don't know yet. Uh, this is kind of an experiment that I am doing. I know that a lot of couples have enjoyed them that have found them. Just based on the analytics, it does look like adding these gig logs and including the venue name and wedding and DJing in the title of the video has been helping a little bit. 
But really where it seems to be helping is establishing credibility with the couple and establishing trust when they find me online. That's it for this video. If you like this type of content, hit that like button, turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you are interested in growing your DJ business, click the link in the description below to join our Facebook community, DJ Marketing School, where I am doing interviews with different DJs and industry experts to figure out what works for growing our business. I officially have a podcast live now, DJ Marketing School on Spotify. It should be coming to iTunes and Google Podcasts soon, so keep an eye out for that. It is live on Spotify, so if you look up DJ Marketing School on Spotify, you will find it. And we also have a new website going live probably in the next month or so, uh, djmarketingschool.com, where all of that content will live. That's it for this video. We'll catch you guys in the next one.